welcome to part one of a three-part series entitled Inventor Nikola Tesla, Vegetarian, Noble Benefactor of Modern Civilization. Nikola Tesla was an exceptionally brilliant electrical engineer and was perhaps one of the greatest inventors that ever lived. He once declared what one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Using his God-given talents in physics, Nikola Tesla devoted his entire life wholly for the betterment of humanity and helped modernize the world. He gave us long-distance electricity transmission and created the famous Tesla coil. His electric induction motors operate our appliances and run our factories. He brought in the radio, robotics, remote control and computer technology. Nikola Tesla also contributed to various fields of physics, leading the way to the Second Industrial Revolution. His alternating current, or AC, electric system has remained the primary electrical system and is still used across the world today. In 1893, Nikola Tesla amazed the world with his demonstration of wireless communication. And when Westinghouse won the battle of currents using Tesla's patents, he shot to stardom and became firmly entrenched in the annals of history. Tesla's popularity was deservedly far-reaching, earning the recognition of high society and culture. As the darling of the press, the media naturally featured his every announcement. Nikola Tesla's name quickly morphed into a byword for innovation and technological wizardry. In fact, Tesla's contemporary admirers regard him as the man who invented the 20th century. Commenting on Nikola Tesla's remarkable inventions, Supreme Master Qinghai said, Tesla is a genius. genius. <笑>就跟宇宙很多那个地球上面跟得上的就跟不上现在还落后那个看电线到处都懂外面的电线打电线到处都懂懂吗他发明的东西都是free <笑> energy free electricity 不过那个时候竞争力嘛已经发明到那些电啊线啊就不让他压他下去然后 他到危险生命的，所以他他应该把他的跟他他的家庭全部都办了，一堂起来，不不敢露面，所以很多他的各发明的没办法公开，很多也被失踪了，所以现在只有一些在这慢慢收集一点回来而已，没有完全是他的发
In the summer of 1856, Nikola Tesla was born amidst a raging lightning storm, precisely at the stroke of midnight in the village of Smiljan, Croatia. At the time of his birth, his Serbian mother commented, he will be a child of the light. And she was right. The Serbian-American genius lit the world. Encyclopedia Britannica continues to list Nikola Tesla as one of the top 10 most fascinating people in history. Nikola Tesla grew up in his pastoral home, where sheep grazed, pigeons cooed, and geese flew in perfect squadron formation. The intelligent and inquisitive Tesla noted some strange and unexplainable experiences associated with light and energy, such as the static sparks that leapt out from his cat's fur in a way similar to how lightning bolts crisscross the sky in the summer. Puzzled, the young Tesla is recorded as wondering if nature was like a giant cat. Throughout his childhood, and the greater part of his life, Nikola Tesla had visions that were so vivid he had difficulty making out whether what he saw was real or imagined. Often, the appearance of such images was intermingled with flashes of light during times of intense happiness, distress or danger. These flashes sometimes turned into tongues of living flame in the air around him. The mystical phenomena and the intensity were beyond his control. The flashes of light grew increasingly stronger until he reached his mid-twenties. To gain relief at night, young Nikola would go on make-believe journeys to new lands and countries and intermingled with the people there as if they were real. Nikola Tesla's Serbian parents played a leading role in molding his growth and development. Since Nikola's birth, his stern but loving father, Milutin Tesla, a military officer turned clergyman, was adamant that his son follow in his ecclesiastical footsteps. Milutin Tesla was also a poet. He exposed Nikola to all kinds of mental training, intellectual exercises like thought guessing, discovering defects in forms, mental calculations, poetry, and biblical recitals all became part and parcel of his rigorous discipline. These daily drills were instrumental in developing Nicholas' mental prowess and critical thinking skills. The training he received from his father also accounted for his linguistic accomplishments and lifelong poetic interest. As he grew older, Nikola Tesla, the scientist, would delight his new friends with an impromptu poetry recital in their native tongues, be it French, German, Italian or English, for he could speak eight languages. Nikola Tesla himself, however, accredited much of his genius and his eidetic memory to his mother's influence, whom he regarded as an inventor of the first order. Spirited, ingenious, and stoic, his multitasking Wonder Woman mother, Yuka Mandic, descended from a lineage of ethnic Serbian inventors. Although Yuka never learned to read or write, she developed incredible memory skills and was capable of reciting verbatim entire volumes of native and classic European poetry. She also invented home implements to meet the family needs. It came as no surprise to his mother that Nikola Tesla exhibited all the genetic traits of her ancestors. The inventor within Nikola Tesla emerged very early in his life. As early as five years of age, he started introducing inventions that were absolutely original and of his own making. For instance, he designed and built a small water wheel that had no paddles but spun smoothly and evenly in the current. 
bright, imaginative, and bold, Nikola Tesla would not let any idea sit long without initiating some kind of action. Naturally, some of his ideas succeeded better than others. There were mishaps, which included his inability to reassemble his grandfather clock after stripping it and pulling it all apart. Another less successful idea was his attempt at flight. Upon jumping off the roof of a barn clutching the family umbrella, he landed unconscious. As a child, Nicholas' determination was somewhat weak and wavering until at eight years of age, a book from his father's library entitled Abba Fi, or Son of Abba, changed his whole life. It somehow awakened within Nikola Tesla his dormant willpower. He began to develop self-control and eventually gained complete mastery of his willpower. It also explains why Nikola Tesla wrote in his autobiography, Of all things, I liked books the best. How fascinating! We sure look forward to learning more about Nikola Tesla's intriguing life and brilliant inventions in the next segment of this series. Noble viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us for today. Join us again on Sunday, August 29th for part two of Inventor Nikola Tesla, Vegetarian, Noble Benefactor of Modern Civilization.